All right, this is a MAV training TE I have set up here. Uh, be departing from Sokcho Air Base. Uh, target area is real close up along the DMZ. I have three separate target areas. One we'll be working on will be at steer four, and we'll be using steer point three, the radar site, as our bore sighting area for our MAVs. And it'll be a short distance from there on up into target area once we have them bore sighted. So we'll be taking off heading 080. We're going to look to extend out about 25 miles from steer point 3 before we turn into a line on it. And the object of this TE is to bore sight your MAVs without a uh, handoff fail and having to clear faults. So we'll work through this and I'll try to pause the TE and explain what I'm doing at each step that I'm making a movement on the throttle with the TMS up, down, left, right uh, and uh, using TMS up and down in the weapon page and using DMS down to change sensor of interest between the two sensors we'll be working with. So let's go ahead and get in the air here. Falcon 1 1 taxi, runway 08. Okay, now in pit, and uh, I'll be getting off tower comms immediately in case I would be doing training on multiplayer and you wouldn't want tower comms uh, interfering while you're trying to discuss things on the ramp that can get pretty upsetting. So let's get off the tower frequency. Now I won't be bringing up data link because uh, single player mission of course. So first thing I want to do is uh, get into air to ground mode and power up the Mavs. That's all we need to do for now and go ahead and bring HSD back up and we'll go taxi. Okay, just gone gear up, taking off from Sokcho, and uh, go ahead and advance up to steer point two. I'm going to bring up steer point three, but I'm not going to reference it so I can get an idea of how much distance I have between. I'm looking for comfortably about 20 miles. I'm carrying a eight AGM 65D Mavs, and uh, I really recommend only having uh, two pylons of, of them loaded for when you're first training uh, instead of trying to get four of them bore sighted. It's much easier to get two pylons only bore sighted in. So let's advance up steer three here on the steer point. Okay, I'm showing about 20 miles distance so I can go ahead and start turning into the uh, steer three. No need to do anything yet with the MFDs. Getting close. Gonna try to be around 12,000 feet, 300 knots. To turn in to get this done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the TGP now. Heading's about 293, not too far off how we had it reconned. Uh, 
Now, with the TGP still sensor of interest, I'm going to TMS right to area track. You see the area track displayed at the center bottom of the TGP. Now I'm going to TMS up on the building that I'm going to designate on. We're going to use the depot, so let's get the view better here. Okay, there's my depot. Now TMS up, getting the track on there. Now that I've got that uh, in point track mode, going to switch to uh, weapon page. Okay, now uh, bringing up the sensor of interest to weapon page. DMS down. Now uncaging Mavs. After I turn the master arm on. Now I'm going to slew my uh, weapon page to the building. TMS up, now bore sight. Altitude, altitude. Now TMS down. Missile step. TMS up, now bore sight. TMS down. Missile step. DMS up on that building. Got it. Now Borsa. One more to go. DMS down. Missile step. TMS down. Now change sensor ventures back to TGP. Reject the target. TMS right, then TMS down to completely get out of point by area track. Okay, now I'm completely unlocked from both both sensors. Now let's head to target area. Advancing to steer point four. I think I've got all Four pylons bore sighted. We're going to find out when we get in target area, see if we get any handoff fails. Going to zoom in TGP a little bit here. Now, once we get up here, uh, start getting in range. I'm not going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and get area tracked in the TGP, but I'm not going to point track until I with I'm almost in range and I have the cursor the map cursor in the map page in the keyhole. So I'm working on getting leveled out here around 10 12,000 feet. Reducing my speed back 14 miles out. Now I can go ahead and area track since I've got vehicles in sight here. So I'm going to TMS right. 
Got my area track going. Uh, about in range. I got the MAV cursor in, in the good keyhole over there. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to point track a target in TGP. Altitude. Altitude. They got the SAM launchers identified. I'm in range. Good keyhole. Gonna go ahead and point track. Waiting for that cursor to quit flashing in the uh, map page. Switching target. TMS up. Handoff in progress. Getting close. Rifle. Okay, those are the SA-13s. I'm too close to try to get the more off. I'm going to get out of here. Get some distance. Cap. Flare. Cap. Flare. Trying to watch target in TGP. We'll widen out a bit. Okay, looks like we're... I'm going to go ahead and switch sensor venters to the MAV page and go ahead and uncage the two more since I just managed to get two off. I should have two uncaged. I need two more uncaged. Missile step through and find the ones that aren't in case. Okay, I'm seven miles out. Gonna turn back in. Got all four pylons uncaged now, and uh, about eight miles distance. Should have the two SA-13 launchers taken care of. So I'm going to head back in. It's only nine miles. I rejected my uh, area track from before in the uh, the last run. I'll have to good area track, but I'm in good vehicle, so I'll go ahead and area track now. DMS right. I can find a line up on targets here. In and out, only 2.8 miles to target. We have two maps left. I'm going to try to keep this all in view here. Okay, switching sensor of interest, then cage the remaining two.
Switching sensor of interest back to TGP. And I'm also going to drop my targets in TGP now. Drop that area track. DMS down. Okay, that's all eight off. Three miles Caution. to target. Caution. Cat one. Caution. I think I got eight good hits there. We'll find out in the uh, debrief. I think all the missiles would have hit by now. Gonna escape. in the bunch. Alright, that's my map training.